Very good evening all, I am Aditi Lama with the Thursday night edition of South Asian News, Vision of Asia. We are coming to you from our studio in New York City. Welcome to the show. Let's begin now by taking a look at the coronavirus pandemic. Globally, we are looking at 79 million cases of the coronavirus with at least 1.73 million deaths. In the United States, we are at more than 18.5 million cases of COVID-19 with at least 327,000 deaths. This by far has been the deadliest year in the U.S. history and parts of the nation are truly ravaging with COVID-19 cases and record hospitalizations. Yesterday saw more than 119,000 hospitalizations. This month has tallied the most number of cases for any month during this pandemic and it's not over yet. Nation's leading health expert Dr. Anthony Fauci has urged Americans to avoid traveling and congregating this coming weekend and especially with Christmas tomorrow. He urged the public because despite several warnings from health experts and government officials, Americans still continue to travel. A big ray of hope, the vaccines are continuing to roll out across the nation and so far, one million doses of the vaccine from Pfizer and Moderna to health workers have been done and long-term care facilities. If you are a medical professional who has received this vaccine, please reach us on events at itvgold.com with your story and experience on the front line and the vaccination. Meanwhile, looking at the need for more COVID-19 relief, the House of Representatives has failed to advance a measure that would increase direct payments to Americans under a certain income level to 2000 way up from the $600 stimulus which was passed earlier this week. Hence, talks on the new COVID-19 relief package continues even now while Americans are suffering unemployment, home evictions, food insecurity, economic crisis, and much more. In politics, President-elect Joe Biden continues to fill his seats in cabinet positions during the transition process while President Trump still has yet to concede. A huge part of President-elect's first 100 days agenda is curbing the spread of COVID-19, which is devastating the nation. And today is Christmas Eve, a day before the much-awaited Christmas holiday, a tradition which brings together families all across the globe. This year, these traditions have been different, and we have tonight highlights into several organizations that are giving back to the community on Christmas as well as COVID-19 updates. Here are the headlines. Dr. Lieutenant Colonel Kamal Kalsi on surge in coronavirus cases and vaccines, New Jersey. Addison Democratic Organization presents Christmas Joy Holiday Toy Drive 2020, New Jersey. Hands of Hope gives back to South Asian Americans Food Donation Drive, New Jersey. A lot more on the other side of the break. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, voice of the community. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I am Aditi Lama and this is Vision of Asia, Thursday night episode of South Asian News. Let's begin by taking a look at the coronavirus pandemic's measures as well as updates. More than 327,000 deaths have been reported in the country with more than 18.5 million cases as the infections continue to spread all across the nation even when Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna have begun inoculating the COVID-19 vaccines. Yesterday, the nation reported more than 228,000 new cases of COVID-19 with at least 3,359 deaths, making it the third most deaths in a single day in the United States. States Tennessee and California have emerged as the new epicenter of the latest COVID-19 surge while more than 1 million Americans have been vaccinated. California has surpassed 2 million cases, making for a grim start to this upcoming holiday weekend. Some public officials say Americans traveling and gathering for Thanksgiving contributed to this latest nationwide explosion in cases. On that, we'd like to encourage all our viewers to continue practicing social distancing, hand washing and wearing a mask, especially tomorrow on Christmas. 
Meanwhile, the news of a new variant of coronavirus is spreading in the United Kingdom is concerning health experts all across as it is more transmissible. Both Pfizer and Moderna have expressed confidence and have said that the vaccines would be effective against the mutant virus. Bringing more insight into the coronavirus updates and measures, earlier today we spoke with Dr. Lieutenant Colonel Kamal Kalsi. Here is the conversation. Today we are at 18.5 million cases and at least 326,000 deaths. This has been considered the deadliest year in the U.S. history. My question to you is, why are we seeing such an amazing surge of cases? And, you know, what does that truly mean right now for us here in the tri-state? Should we be worried as well? Yeah, you know, I think it's uh, important for everybody to understand that the virus is highly infectious, uh, but it's being driven largely by uh, by human actions. You know, if uh, if we were all to simply start wearing masks and socially distance and stop uh, doing these mass gatherings, uh, we would uh, uh, be able to affect the virus, uh, uh, you know, and, and get control of it. Yes, for sure. You know, when we're talking about, uh, especially this having a national mandate, are you looking at the federal government to actually, you know, uh, implement some measures such as the social distancing or wearing a mask for every American? Do you think that could be a solution to the problem? It won't be a solution to the problem. I mean, this is a very, very complex problem. So there'll be likely uh, multiple lines of effort. Uh, I know the Biden administration has already announced that uh, for the first 100 days or so, they're going to uh, ask the public, uh, not uh, not mandate, but ask the public to wear uh, a mask and socially distance. I don't think that that's, uh, uh, I don't think that's a big ask. And uh, quite frankly, it's needed. I heard a statistic the other day that uh, essentially said that we are losing a life to COVID every 30 seconds yeah. and it's it's terrible you know we are we are one of the the most uh, uh technologically advanced nations uh, in in the world and uh it, it's it, it's just very sad that we can't get a handle on this uh on this infection you know, parts of the nation are ravaging with COVID-19 cases. We have seen hospitalization like never before. Um, how are you looking at these parts of the nation that are surging with so many cases? And, you know, who is responsible for it at the end of the day? At the end of the day, it's 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 leadership. You know, it's uh, it goes from uh, the president and his administration. Uh, it also goes to the governors of each and every state and then um also it, there is an individual responsibility of every person in america not uh not to pass this virus and to ensure the the safety and health of their their neighbors and their family yes for sure you know i'd like to ask you about the conditions of hospitals right now you know you're also an er doctor so i would like to know what is happening in your hospital that, that you're working at but more than that i'd like to know the information you're getting from all across the nation what is the status on ppes and hospitalization do we have enough beds are there enough icus what do you have to tell us about that yeah no those are all great questions uh now with regards to ppe i think we have a much better handle on ppe than we did way back in March and April when we saw people, uh, uh, you know, some of my colleagues and nurses wearing uh, garbage bags because they didn't have uh, gowns. Uh, uh, you know, there is still uh, a shortage of, of, I think, gloves in, and masks in certain areas. But I, I feel as a nation, we're much better situated now uh, with regards to PPE than we were uh, earlier this year. What uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I just wanted to ask you about the impact you've seen it on the doctors themselves. It's uh, it's tough, right? I mean, I uh, I know a lot of my colleagues are 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 working really really long hours, and they're having to to deal with some really heartbreaking uh, situations. You know, uh, seeing a uh, a mother uh, or a grandmother uh, in the ICU not being able to to breathe, you know, uh, not being able to, to, to say goodbye to their loved ones, you know, uh, uh, not to have that connection with their family uh, at their last moments of life is, is heartbreaking. And so uh, after months and months and months of this type of work, 
I, I see a lot of our uh, fellow healthcare workers also uh, getting burnt out. You know, it's uh, it's a really, really tough job, even on a regular day. And to already be eight, nine months into this, uh, uh, you know, it, it's definitely taking a large toll on our healthcare workers. Yeah, definitely. And it's uh, I'm sure it's mentally so exhausting to see that every single day for many of these health officials. When you're looking at the impact of COVID, again, we're looking at the fact that the next couple of months are going to be difficult. That's what all the health experts are saying. My question to you is, are we ready as a nation if it gets really bad in the month of December or January? What are you predicting? We're going to see much of the same. We are uh, already seeing a steep rise of uh, infections, uh, and that's uh, you know all over the nation. So I think uh, as we move into January and February, uh, it's likely that we will continue to see a rise in infections uh, unless we make some some drastic decisions. You know, uh, uh, what we truly need though is a national coordinated response. Uh, and that means we need leadership uh, in, in Washington to uh, coordinate with the state and local governments to, to, to get a handle on this infection. And, and for some areas of the country, that may mean, uh, you know, a, a three or four week quarantine. Uh, you know, it may mean that you may have to shut down, um, you know, certain businesses uh, uh, that are non-essential. So it... Uh, uh, there's no good or easy solution. Um, these are all difficult, difficult solutions. Today is Christmas Eve, a day before Christmas, one of the most celebrated holidays of the year around the globe. The day reflects messages of unity, peace and love with a great emphasis on celebrating with dear ones and family. A major tradition of Christmas is exchanging of gifts as well as giving back to the ones in need so that they can also celebrate this holiday. On that, recently the Edison Democratic Organization in New Jersey presented a toy drive titled Christmas Joy, bringing together members as well as children of the community in a free event which saw toy distribution to children and pictures with Santa. The Edison Democratic Organization is heavily focused on engaging and catering to the residents of Edison Township and promoting the Democratic Party in the state of New Jersey. The organization proudly acts as a liaison between elected Democratic officials and public within their districts so that the needs of the community, again, are addressed with solutions and resources for the betterment of all. At the Christmas Joy Toy Drive, many members of the Edison Democratic Organization spoke to ITV Gold on the importance of serving the Edison Township during the ongoing pandemic and hosting events adhering to CDC guidelines. Hi, my name is Mohin Patel. I'm with the Edison Democratic Organization in regards to, uh, in regards to this toy dive, drive that we're having tonight, today. So I wanted to just uh, let everyone know, ITV Gold, thank you for being here and joining us in this uh, event we're having for our community. We're actually having a toy drive here held and sponsored by Edison Democratic Organization, where Mahesh Bhagya is the chairman, I am the treasurer. We're also here joined by uh, Jerry Shi, which is the... Uh, which is the EDO, uh, sorry, he's, he's school board as well, as well as myself, Mohin Patel, I'm on the school board. This is an amazing event. We are actually going and giving back to the community where we're actually giving out some, uh, uh, some uh, PPP kits and also the toys for the kids. We're having a great turnout. It's a great event. I want to make sure that all the people know that, you know what, this is what, this is what we're going to have every year and we want everyone to join in and all the sponsors too as well to participate and make sure that it counts. It's for the kids. This is an event, uh, we're going through a pandemic, but this is actually something that the kids look forward to and we want to make sure that they are taken care of as well. Mental health is an issue that we need to make sure we're making sure that they're uh, taken care of. Hi, good afternoon, ITV Gold. Thank you for coming to this event. This is a great event that uh, right before the holiday. And as you can see, we have a, a, a lot of toys. And so far, we have way more than 50 kids has showed up to pick up the toys and have a picture with Santa. This is all donated by um, you know, the people and uh, organized by EDO, Edison Democratic Organization. 
And uh, we also have gift cards that we're giving away, uh, uh, courtesy of the Chinese American community of Edison. And we have um, you know, 60 gift cards that are given out to the families from local restaurants. So we, we not only uh, helping the kids, we're also supporting the local business. And we definitely need that, especially during this pandemic time. So, if, you know, just uh, this is a great event. I hope that we'll continue this, uh, you know, next year. Thank you very much. Thank you, ITV, uh, for covering this event today. We are excited and delighted uh, uh, to uh, celebrate Christmas joy uh, for Edison residents here. EDO has been a proud uh, is proud to sponsor this event today. As you can see behind me, there are many, many families coming uh, and uh, taking advantage of this uh, event. Uh, we are giving away f uh, free toys for the kids and a photographer is here on board. Uh, so again, it's a great event. Uh, please join us with the families in today's event. Thank you. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope everyone has a great Christmas and you get all the presents that I bring to you. So Merry Christmas 2020 and the best to everyone else. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, this is Lisa Salem. I'm committee person in District 51. The Edison Democratic Organization today held its first Christmas joy event. I have to say it was a great success. We still have another half an hour to go. If you happen to hear this and you would like to come down, we have free pictures with Santa and a free gift for every child. Thank you and a happy holiday season to all of you. Time for the show break on Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. We'll be right back. And welcome again. I am Aditi Lama and this is Vision of Asia, South Asian news segment. Tomorrow is Christmas and nationwide we are seeing several nonprofits that are truly giving back to the communities in need, a huge aspect of this holiday season. Many food and toy donation drives are taking place all across to help the most vulnerable individuals during this pandemic and provide some joy during these tough times. Focus on combating food insecurity and bringing joy in the households of many, recently Hands of Hope held a drive through food donation for South Asian Americans. The nonprofit is a community-based organization committed in providing an efficient and effective centralized system for distributing food to alleviate hunger. By conducting food drives throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, the focus has been on sustaining good nutrition, health, and most of all, human dignity. We have tonight some highlights from Hands of Hope recent food donation drive. Visit handsofhopenewjersey.org. Hi, good morning. Uh, it's nice of you guys to be here again. This is Raghu with the Hands of Hope. Today we're doing a very big drive for Christmas and it's the 19th and it's a very busy day today. Uh, you know, thank you for watching us. It's, it's been a very busy day this morning. We're serving at least about three or 400 people today. Um, we're giving them as much food as we can, a gift card for the gifts. We are not able to give the children gifts uh, this uh, Christmas because the church is closed due to um, the pandemic but we're giving them gift cards and we're giving them two boxes of food plus a, a turkey to go and multiple boxes for food. So we hope them, they all have a great holiday and uh, you know, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and Happy Holidays to all of you. My name is Niran Chaudhary. I'm with all the great volunteers here uh, today uh, to donate uh, some of the foods for the needy today in the Edison area. Uh, we actually have been doing this thing for last uh, June, right? 
uh, June for different different uh, communities, like including hospitals and the polices. And uh, from the last uh, four or five weeks, we are actually trying to give to the food pantries because of that so much of need for the food. Uh, you know, at least to give some of the meals to the families. So it is very important that and that is we can help also. And so today we, with me, we are actually doing the two organizations. One is the Balaji Temple in Bridgewater. Second was the World Vegan Vision. And World Vegan Vision is represented by Nitin Bias, who is, has been always my friend and uh, all the time for us actually June. And then we have got Mohesh Bhai. He is actually, he's, uh, he is uh, coordinating all the farmers uh, help uh, save Indian farmer. And he basically donated all, at least four, 500 meals by himself. Uh, in addition area, also we have got with the Jagdish, he is a volunteer in Balaji Temple, then Rupendra, the volu volunteer in Balaji Temple, and one of the volunteers still working, his name is uh, uh, Sanjeev. So again, you know, we are at least pleased to do some help at least, you know, I know lots of people need um, all the food they need, uh, you know, in, in this difficult time. Hopefully, at least, you know, by vaccine and everything else coming on, everybody will have a you know, good job and then, you know, work on it and come to the, at least, you know, uh, to feed their own family. Until that time, we'll continue it. We are probably we're going to do next time in the uh, near 15 or 16 January or so. Um, we'll and so... So that next time will be at the 15th of January. Hopefully, at least, you know, we can also get help from all other people so that at least, you know, we can do much bigger way and a better way. Okay, thank you very much again. God bless everybody. Thanks. Hi, my name is Jagdish Bugidi. Uh, I've been a volunteer with the Bridgewater uh, Hindu Temple. Uh, and since last uh, June, since the pandemic has been at the peak, we have been donating food and uh, needy items to the community in the Edison, New Jersey area. And this been, has been a privilege to donate again at the hands of Hope, New Jersey. It's been really honored serving the community along with the wonderful people at Bridgewater, also at the World Vegan Vision organization. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, as you can see, we are here at the hands of Hope Pantry today. And we are, uh, I mean, you can see there is a lot of people lined up. Uh, there is a lot of need. There is a lot of uh, distress in the community. So we as a group of organizations have come together today and we've decided to donate a lot of food here so that it actually helps the needy and the poor. And I hope that you will all come and join us. Uh, we are planning to do a much better, much bigger food drive um, or a food collection for January 15th. Uh, so please, please do uh, come and join us. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nitin Vyas. I'm a public relations director for the World Vegan Vision. On the behalf of the organization, we would like to congratulate uh, Niran Choudhury and their entire team uh, for doing the wonderful work, uh, donating the food at Hops of the Hand uh, in Addison. Uh, we are part of that. We have been working since you know, I mean, the COVID started uh, in the month of April. And we did a lot of the charity work together. And uh, I'm very proud that you know, I, mean, I had a wonderful uh, team uh, supporting us. And uh, we would like to request everyone to please come forward so that we can do that better for the needy people. Thank you. And happy holiday and uh, healthy holiday. Thank you. Bye. Hi, the reason I'm here is because it's helping a lot of people that have a great need for food and toys and other things that families need at this time. Um, times are pretty desperate for a lot of people and we're here because we care and we want to help the community as much as possible. And I want to thank the Baladi Temple from Bridgewater for this awesome gift that they gave the Hands of Hope Food Pantry today. As you can see, if you scan, we're taking care of many families in need today. Uh, they're getting uh, several boxes of, of non-perishable food. Uh, we are getting turkeys out and chickens and uh, gift cards for the kids to go f uh, shopping at Walmart. We want to thank you for all you do for us. And this is the second time you've been here. And you really did an awesome job and giving us food for our, for our, our clients. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, uh, my name is Raj Jatakanda and I work for Hands of Hope uh, Edison, New Jersey. We are a um, food pantry that serves Middlesex County residents. We're open first and third Saturdays. We serve about 300 clients every first and third Saturday. So thanks to our donors and viewers like you, we appreciate your support. Come here, volunteer, serve your community, donate whatever you can. Nothing is small. Thank you all. Happy holidays. My name is Shravan Malikiredi. 
मैं एडिसन में रहता हूँ ये ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैंड्स ऑफ होप द फूड डोनेशन इज द ग्रेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेर द डोनेट फूड फॉर पोर पीपल एंड इज अ वेरी गुड सिस्टम वी हैव अबाउट फ्यू पीपल वॉल्टियर्स एवरी Every big day will come and we'll celebrate and do that stuff. Okay? Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Well, this wraps up our show for the night. Please send us your suggestions and get your voices and organization on our show. Email us on events at itvgold.com or follow us on Facebook at itvgold. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for free access to many of our popular shows. Thank you for joining us tonight from Queens, New York. This is Vision of Asia. I am Aditi Lamba. A very Merry Christmas to all of you.